Hi, everyone, and welcome to my autobiography. For the next little while, we're going to take a journey, a journey through my life from impressionable puppyhood to my golden years. I'm glad you could make it. Now let's get started, for this is The Life and Times of Me. Schaefer. I was born April 8, 1995, to my mother Phoebe, along with my three sisters. I don't really remember them much. It was a pretty long time ago. We had a lot of fun together. Anyway, I was pretty precocious back then, which caught the eye of my future owner, Greg. I was also pretty darn cute. Irresistible, if I might say so myself. I was purchased for $300 and brought to my new home. I did get a chance to see my dad one last time. His name was Copper, and he was pretty awesome. Back then, Keep Away was my favorite game. Because of my incredible intelligence and dedication to learning, my training started early. At 12 weeks old, I was rolling over by hand signal. By 16 weeks, I had perfected perhaps my most famous trick, the sneeze and get the Kleenex trick. Shortly after that, I was performing piano gigs at special occasions. By six months old, I was the youngest dog in my obedience class. I showed real focus and dedication throughout the session. And guess who took home the trophy? With all that training, it was only natural that I would drift toward the performing arts. My first acting job was in a 1995 short called Do Not Remove 2. Then it was on to the Jump for Jesus fundraiser. From there I tried my hand, or paw, at a singing career. I performed in countless school plays as a clown, a Kleenex delivery service, and even an attack reindeer. I played the villain Xi'an Sho in the 2001 adventure film Haraloft Bone Trader. Before landing the lead in what turned out to be perhaps my most brilliant performance, Schaefer's Day. With my performance skills honed, it was a quick jump into the professional league as Melvin the Wonder Dog, magician's helper extraordinaire. The magic act started innocently enough with me dressing up as Santa one Christmas. After that, I performed my famous big card trick for the first time at the 1998 Burke Family Christmas Pageant. From there, the fame of Melvin spread, and so did the demand. I performed shows for school carnivals, local fairs, birthday parties, and daycares. You name it, I performed at it. And always with a flair and excitement that the audience appreciated. 
Perhaps my biggest performance ever was at Ottawa's Super X. 33 shows in 11 days. Wow, that sure kept me hopping. Get the car! The car! Get the... Wait a second! Melvin's big car trick! But the most important part of my life has always been family. For the first six years of my life, it was just Greg and I. We did everything together. We were quite the team. Then along came Angela. I have to say she was a pretty awesome addition to the family. When those two got married, guess who got to be the ring bearer? Not long after that, we started adding tiny humans to our growing family. Liam came first. He and I had a lot of fun together. But boy, could that kid make a mess. Good ball thrower, though. He was followed by Logan, who was sure a lot quieter than Liam. And he was really, really tasty, too. But the most challenging addition to the family was this guy, Baxter Banjo Donade Burke. Sure, he looked cute and all, but man was he annoying. Always trying to horn in on my tennis ball action. I tried my best to ignore him, I really did. He just made it so hard. Over time, I grew fond of Baxter, and we became friends. It was good to have another dog around. I even taught him my famous keep-away game. He got pretty good at it, too. Now, as the sun sets on my life, I can look back and say, I did more than most dogs will ever do. I made lots of friends along the way. I worked hard. and I played even harder. This is the way I've always lived my life, the life of Schaefer. <laughs>